In a historic and groundbreaking announcement on Juneteenth, Dr. Stephanie Ganaway Paisley declared her candidacy for mayor of North Charleston. With a remarkable career spanning roles as a retired summary court judge, civil mediator, educator, and business owner, we are so happy to have her joining us today. Dr. Stephanie Paisley, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Now, can you talk to me a little bit about your time that you spent on the bench in North Charleston? I was appointed to the bench in um, March of 2003. 20, uh, okay. And I served until 2015, okay. um, presiding over criminal and civil cases okay. uh, in Charleston County. Okay. And now you also have a doctorate in psychology. That is um, correct. Which I find fascinating. Thank you. Going into the office with a PhD in psychology, what do you think that will bring North Charleston? Well, it will bring much more awareness to mental health okay. uh, concerns. North Charleston has a high rate of crime mm -hmm. that I am very concerned about. Uh, within the police department, I want to make sure that there is a true forensic department there, okay. more than just keeping evidence. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to put a, a forensic psychologist on staff. Okay. Uh, my concern is making sure that police officers have the resources uh, that they need uh, and professional development that they need to perform their duties uh, professionally mm -hmm. and legally. Uh, we know that police officers are trained to eliminate threats. Mm -hmm. Some threats need to be de-escalated. So we want to make sure that they have the training to recognize psychological disorders when they run into a, a suspect. Mm -hmm. A forensic psychology will be able to do that, will be able to help in that training. Furthermore, a forensic psychology will, uh, psychologist will also be able to look at the behavior of, of people who commit crimes. Mm -hmm. That will empower the police department because we'll be able to identify characteristics and come up with a prevention plan, mm -hmm. intervention plan, to uh, reduce the crime in North Charleston. Mm -hmm. We know that we will be able to put a task force together to work with the school district, um, we're looking at different programs. Uh, we'll have a task force to look at the, the recreations um, around North Charleston, mm -hmm. uh, some of the parks that lay dormant, some of the uh, areas that need recreation. Mm -hmm. When children have something to do, a crime won't be a part of their activity. Uh, so we're about empowerment, education, and employability. We want to make sure that when children graduate from school that they can fit into the skilled workforce that th and, and meet the needs of the community. And I feel like more psychology knowledge and presence is, will eliminate a lot of these issues that we're Absolutely. seeing. Absolutely. Um, what brought you to this point to, to run for office? Well, um, some citizens actually approached me and asked me to run for the mayor of North Charleston. Wow. And we contemplated uh, over it because I just came out of a race, as you know, I ran for Charleston County Probate Court Judge. Mm -hmm. And so I thought about it. And the citizens that came to me said, look, if you really want change, if you really want to use the education that you have and the compassion that you have and the skills and experience that you have, we need it in North Charleston. Mm -hmm. I have been a resident of North Charleston for over 45 years. Mm -hmm. Some areas of North Charleston still look the exact same. Liberty Hill looks the same. Days Hill looks the same. Park, you know, Park Circle looks different. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that there's equity in North Charleston where the haves versus the have-nots no longer exist. Uh, if North Charleston is going to be a true world-class city, mm -hmm. then we have to start doing world-class things. We have to make sure that everyone is entitled to the resources that, that within North Charleston. I believe in equity, and we want to bridge that gap. Mm -hmm. And something else we're seeing a lot of and hearing a lot of is people who have, you know, spent their whole lives in Charleston are getting pushed out because it's so expensive to live here. What are you looking to do as far as affordable housing goes? You know, everybody have their definition for affordable housing. We know what the national guideline says mm -hmm. uh, in regards to the 30 percent. But I want to, I'm a researcher, mm -hmm. so I believe in surveys mm -hmm. and I believe in researching. So what I want to do, I want to know what the average income of the citizens in North Charleston truly is. Yeah. That will determine what affordable housing will look like. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is work with the economic developers mm -hmm. and for it not to be 
icing on the cake, but we want to be part of the ingredient that when they come in to look at building in North Charleston, that people are not being displaced and that those who want to purchase home will be able to afford to purchase affordable homes. Okay. Now, Dr. Ganaway Paisley, do you have any events coming up that our viewers can learn more about you at? I have an event that's coming up. I was recently endorsed by Marianne Williamson, who is the Democratic candidate for president 2024. I have an event that's coming up uh, that's going to be sponsored by the Forward Party on September 21st. Wonderful. And now a website. What's your website? Our website is um, Honorable Dr. Ganaway Paisley. Um, it's our for, uh, Facebook website or Wonderful. page and electganawaypaisley.com. Perfect. Well, Dr. Ganaway Paisley, it was a pleasure speaking with you and hopefully we'll get to see you back on the show a little closer to election. Thank you so much. We're back. Appreciate being here.